Gets the snap right in far side. We're chasing her. We're chasing her. Throws it down there. He is up and he is up. The final place is at the 50. The Persons come out of here of the national championship for football. University its first ever football national championship. Fast forward now to the night before the national championship game. What was going through your mind as you fell asleep in Florence, Alabama? Uh, we were just ready to go out there and play. You don't get the opportunity to compete for a national title um, a whole lot. I and mean, we didn't want this one to pass us by. We were much more relaxed than we were in 2002. Um, we were a very confident team and we felt like we had as good a chance to be national champions as Pittsburgh State. 59-7 and seven record over four years. Four Gold South Conference championships, two national championships, countless coaching awards and accolades. In 20 years, when people look at your tenure here at Valdosta State, what is the defining characteristic of the Chris Hatcher era? I hope people say that his teams played hard. I hope that um, when people look back, they can say, hey, one thing about Chris Hatcher and his teams, they had a lot of fun, but more importantly, they gave 100% every time they stepped foot on that football field. The national championship comes publicity and credibility, but even before this recognition of this program, this university has already been growing. Has that growth created a sense of urgency? Valdosta State, um, in my opinion, a second to nobody, um, and hopefully we'll continue to be on the rise and maybe one day um, we'll be able to compete at the Division I level in athletics, and that'll just um, make coming to Valdosta State um, that much better. Hypothetically speaking, what if right now, for some unexplained reason, Chris Hatcher was no longer the coach at Valdosta State? How would this program be affected? Yeah, I hope it wouldn't be affected um, negatively at all. Um, you know, you never know. I hope that would be the case. I think we built a strong foundation, have excellent assistant coaches here. I'm sure someone could step right in and, and take over where I've left off. And, and we built uh, a groundwork of, of an attitude, if you will, on our football team, but just to be able to find a way through any type of adversity that comes your way. And I hope all the, the ideals and the values that we've been building here for five years, going into the sixth season, um, would be able to take care of itself if I wasn't the football coach here anymore.